Dreams Louder. Hello guys, welcome back to Biology Insights and get ready to gain some more knowledge of inheritance biology. We have had a pretty good journey of inheritance from Mendelism to extension of Mendelism and from these many extensions we have seen some and we'll talk more today. So let's jump into the next which is called phenocopy. As the name suggests, phenocopy is a copy of phenotype, just phenotype, not genotype. One more important point, phenocopy is not a mutation and it is not heritable at all. Let's understand the situation. This is Ben and this is Joey, neighbors of each other, but both of them has some health issues. Like they have painful tendered bones, especially spine, arms and legs. They get muscle cramps and easily get fractured. Awful, right? Can you spot the issue here? Of course you can. It's vitamin D deficiency. But do you know the deficiency could be due to many reasons? It could be genetic or it could be supplementary problem. Now if we get a closer look to Ben, he has a fax gene, which is a mutated gene that causes genetic disorder rickets. So Ben is having vitamin D deficiency due to genetic problem. But in case of Joey, he has no mutated genes, he has normal genes and normal supplementary deficiency. As you can see, the genotype is not similar here, yet Joey is a phenocopy of Ben. Let's see another example. See these cute little baby rabbits. They are called Himalayan rabbits. If you raise one of them in cold condition, it will be black in color. And if it is raised in moderate temperature, it is white with black patches on it. If we get a closer look to genotype, they both have same genotype, but yet the black Himalayan rabbit resembles the wild type rabbit, which means it is a phenocopy of wild type rabbit. Now you can understand the definition. Phenocopy is a variation in phenotype which is caused by environmental condition in such a way that the organism's phenotype matches a phenotype which is determined by genetic factors. Interesting, right? Let's move further and get to know two more interesting phenomena, penetrance and expressivity. They both are very closely related, but don't worry, we'll make it easy for you to differentiate it in a best way. First of all, Penetrance is the percentage of offspring with the mutant genotype that express the mutant phenotype. It could be complete penetrance or incomplete penetrance. If a mutated gene is expressed 100% all the time, it is complete penetrance. For example, Huntington's disease. Every individual with HTT gene is undeniably suffering from Huntington's disease, which means the mutated gene is expressed 100% all the time. Each and every individual with this mutated gene is surely suffering from Huntington's disease. This is complete penetrance of the gene. But if a mutated gene is expressed in some individuals and sparing others, it is known as incomplete penetrance. One example of it that quite often occurs is BRCA1 gene, which causes familial breast cancer. Out of many women that has BRCA1 gene, 80% of them will actually show the breast cancer, which means the mutated gene is 80% penetrate. This is incomplete penetrance. Another example of it is polydically, a disorder where a person has extra finger or toe or sometimes both. But not every individual with mutated gene is having extra fingers or toes. It means gene is not giving expected phenotype every time. Let's say these five people have mutated gene that can cause polydegree. But out of these, only three of them will actually have extra finger or toe, which makes 60% penetrance of the gene. An interesting thing here is even out of these three people, number of extra fingers vary. Some has one, some has two, and some has even more, which means expressivity of gene varies. Expressivity is the degree to which the mutant phenotype is expressed. Even in affected individuals, as we seen in polydegree, some has high expressivity and some has low expressivity. If we look around, there are many familiar faces that are live examples of either BRCA1 or polydegree. 
We all know about famous American actresses Angelina Jolie and Christiana Applegate, who were performed double mastectomy because they were at high risk of BRCA1 mutation. Many famous people are there with politically too. You might have noticed them by yourself. Do you know anyone with politically? Share this video to them and they'll be amazed to know how genes work for them. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for more insights of biology. See you in the next lecture.